Back in 2007, Rocket Espresso came together to dedicate themselves to high-end espresso and powerful commercial-grade machines for the barista at home. The word mazzafiato roughly translates to breathtaking in Italian, and Giotto comes from the late Giotto di Bandone, an acclaimed Italian painter and architect from Middle Age Florence. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Rocket continues its artful tradition of beautiful but powerful handcrafted machines. Today, an in-depth look at their mazzafiato and Giotto machines. In this video, I'll have a close-up look at the machines, their performance, some key features, We'll pull some shots, steam some milk, and of course a whole latte more. So the basics, each machine comes in two versions. The type V after the name denotes a vibration pump model, while the Evoluzione R models have rotary pumps. Coming up, my thoughts on why you might choose a vibration or rotary pump. Now, beyond the pumps, the machines are nearly identical under the hood. All use a large 1.8 liter copper heat exchange boiler. So you can brew and steam at the same time, and that's a big step up from single boiler machines. On those, there's always some waiting involved for the machine to get up to steam temperature or cooling down the boiler after steaming before brewing again. With PID temperature control, you get very consistent brew temps, but in a departure from what you see on most machines, the PID controller is not visible on the face of these. It's hidden behind the drip tray. The PID combined with the E61 thermosiphon group head makes it fairly easy to optimize your brew temp, although you will need to reference the manual to get there. More on that in a second. In our testing using a SCASE device, these PID machines produced consistent brew temps. One thing to note, Rocket has taken a different approach with the PID, showing the actual temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius in the boiler. Now, most PID equipped machines show a calculated brew temp using an offset from the in-boiler temperature. So on the Rocket, you choose your desired brew temp, then reference a chart in the manual to determine the PID setting, which will be much higher to get that brew temperature at the group head. Now, I've spoken with Andrew Mio of Rocket about the hidden PID control. He's the guy responsible for the exterior design of the machines and says customers tend to prefer the cleaner, more classic look of no visible digital displays. Now, if you put a Rocket machine on your counter, there will be, well, no mistaking, it's a Rocket. Andrew is all about the branding, from the adjustable feet, which look like Rocket engine nozzles, to nameplate and logo badging front and back and the iconic R on the steam knob, and there's more. You'll find the rocket name on the porta filters and laser etched into a substantial tamper, which comes with each machine. On steaming performance, well, these machines use two whole steam tips mounted to cool touch internally insulated wands to prevent accidental burns. The whole size is a little larger than most with a diameter of 1.5 millimeters. With the larger holes, you get more steam power initially, but run the risk of it tailing off a bit when steaming large amounts of milk. In our testing, that was not really an issue with enough power to froth milk for a couple of medium-sized lattes at the same time. And some users will appreciate more power initially when steaming small amounts of milk. So what's different on these machines? Well, on the outside, the Mazafiato models, they have the flat side panels with integrated cup rails, the Giotto models, they have the little more flare with the angular side panels and taller feet. And then there's the vibration or rotary pump option for each type. It's easy to tell a rotary pump equipped machine from one with a vibration pump by the gauges. The rotaries have black gauges while the vibration pump versions have white. Why choose one type of pump over the other? Well, some people prefer the slower ramping up to brew pressure you get with a vibration pump. But Vibration pumps aren't as quiet or durable as rotary pumps, and with the E61 group, you can always get a light pre-infusion regardless of pump type. Now, on the rotary pump models, you have the option of connecting directly to household plumbing so you have a constant water supply, no refilling reservoirs. I guarantee you, once you've used a plumbed-in machine, you will never want to go back to filling a reservoir again. And with a plumbed-in machine, it's much easier to incorporate worry-free water filtering to protect your machine from scaling and improve coffee flavor. Use a link up here to 
Learn more about our favorite inline filter solution, the BWT Best Max Premium. When used properly, you will never need to descale your machine thanks to its patented ion exchange technology. So, overall opinions on these machines, they definitely make a statement. As mentioned with heavy branding, there's really no mistaking they are rockets. The steam and hot water valves, while fine, are not up to the quality of lower wear sprung valves found on competing machines like the Profitech Pro 500. Personally, I'd go with the rotary pump version of these machines. They are the plumbable ones and, of course, a little more expensive. But as I mentioned earlier, once you've used a plumb machine, you'll never, ever want to go back to filling a reservoir. It's also very easy to add an inline filter on a plumb machine, which will make better tasting coffee, protect internal components, and get you out of the scaling maintenance. Those are the Mazza Fiatos and Giotos from Rocket Espresso. They're available now at Whole Lot They Love. And you can use a link up here to find out more about them and other Rocket machines. If you have more questions on these machines or anything coffee, use those comments. I'll be sure to get you the answers. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. And I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Lot They Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.